ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோ நமகம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் லேர்னிங் இனிஷியேட்டிவ் அண்ட் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் த பயாலஜி கிளாஸ் இன் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி சோ அபவுட் டை ஹேபிட் கிராஸ் இன் டை ஹேபிட் கிராஸ் ஐ ஹவ் ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்டாப் வித் ஃபீனோ டைபிக் ரேஷியோ ஐ டோல் யூ தட் ஐ பி டீச்சிங் யூ சம் ட்ரிக்ஸ் ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் இன் ஈஸி வே த ஜீனோ டைபிக் ரேஷியோ ஆஃப் டை ஹேபிட் கிராஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் இஸ் ட்ரை ஹேபிட் கிராஸ் ஸோ வில் கோ இன் டு தட் So let me write here when it is tri hybrid i'll start with tri hybrid and i will teach you the trick for di hybrid also it is general okay if i if you know that particular formula you can apply that in mono hybrid di hybrid tri hybrid even if it is tetra hybrid okay so tri hybrid is nothing but three contrasting characters so the three contrasting characters you can talk about the size shape color okay size i am going to take capital t capital t shape i am going to take round capital r capital r and color i am going to take yellow color that is a dominant i am taking pisum sativum as a example for tri hybrid cross so this is parent okay and when it is intercrossed with the same homozygous recessive character capital small t small t small r small r small y small y okay now when i pull out the gametes i'll be writing only the example two examples each right so t r y t r y i told you already when you are writing it separately okay in a gamete each different letters you will write the same when you are representing in allele each with the pair you represent for tallness capital t capital t together for dwarfness small t small t together okay so here you can see now now we are pulling out only the gametes so i'm writing like this small t small r small y encircle the gametes okay here also let me encircle the gametes now this one during fusion it takes place like this capital t small t capital r small r see i'm writing in a pair with the same letter alleles with the same letter they pair up and they express their characters small r and then capital y small y so this is one the same way you will get here okay capital t small t capital r small r capital y small y now this is f1 generation and this one is a gamete both together gametes you can say so we pulled out till this step it is very simple till f1 generation in all the cross it is very simple next later you have to apply the trick on self on self just an into mark i'll put okay on self in what will be the f2 generation for that we should know the gametes how many gametes are possible for this for example if i am going to take mono hybrid mono hybrid f1 generation okay in f1 generation capital t small t you very easily you can pull out the gamete capital t small t very simple right the same di hybrid okay di hybrid yeah it is capital y small y capital r small r two characters we are taking and when it is in heterozygous condition you pull out the gametes like this capital y okay and this capital y will duplicate i told you already it is capital y capital r capital y small r then small y capital r small y small r so totally how many gametes are there four gametes are there right three another one here four okay so here three and then four so for di hybrid four gametes are there for mono hybrid two gametes are there okay and then for tri hybrid how many gametes should be there 
we need to pull NC. Okay, instead I will give you a formula, we can apply that. Let me erase this, just observe for a second. I'll erase it, I'll teach you the tricks now, right? Now, so when we are talking about gametes, okay, how many gametes? Male gamete, female gamete, right? So 2 in number, 2 to the whole power n. N is nothing but number of cross, that is number of contrasting character in a cross, right? So, if it is a monohybrid, I'll write here, if it is a monohybrid, I'll just write the starting thing, and if it is a dihybrid, and if it is a trihybrid, how it will be? If it is a monohybrid, 2 to the power 1. If it is dihybrid, 2 to the power 2. If it is trihybrid, 2 to the power 3. Got it? N indicates number of characters you are intercrossing. So now what are the answers here? So we'll write here 2 to the power 2 gametes and 2 twos are 4 gametes here. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. 8 gametes here. So you will get in monohybrid 2 gametes, dihybrid 4 gametes, trihybrid 8 gametes. Okay, so this is number 1 to find out the gametes. Okay, and number 2 phenotype and genotype. Okay, I'll write here phenotype and genotype. Just check. For phenotype, okay, phenotype, the general ratio will take. In monohybrid, what ratio we got? The same ratio will take it. So, it is nothing but 3 is to 1. The same, the whole power n, we will take it. Okay, genotype, let me write here. Genotype. Is nothing but the same common what we know in monohybrid 1 is 2 2 is 2 1 the whole power n always this n indicates the number number of the contrasting characters so here number 1 mono okay number 2 tie number 3 try So, we will do that for monohybrid. 3 is to 1, the whole power 1. So, it is 1. So, same answer you will get. Dihybrid, 3 is to 1, the whole 2 you will get. So, it is nothing but 3 is to 1 into 3 is to 1. When you multiply, you will get the answer as, I will write here, 3 3 is a 9. 9 is 2, this 3 first into 3 is to 1. So, 3 3 is a 9 is to 3 is 2 and then 1 3 is to 1. This 1, 1 time into 3 is to 1. So, it is nothing but 3 is to 1. Okay. Yes, so this is the dihybrid ratio. Trihybrid ratio if you take it 3 times 3 is to 1 the whole n. So, 3 is to 1, 3 times you will write it, 3 is to 1 into 3 is to 1. Why? It is 3 times, the n is nothing but 3 because trihybrid it is. So, this we know already the answer. This is the answer. You can see here, this is the answer. Okay. So that I am directly I am writing here 9 is 2, 3 is 2, 3 is 2, 1 into 3 is 2, 1. Okay, what will be the answer? 9 3 is a 27 is 2, 3 3 is a 9 is 2, 3 3 is a 9 is 2, 3. And then once you will write it. Okay, that 9 is 2. 3 is 2, 3 is 2, 1. Okay. So, this you can arrange, this one you can arrange according to the order. 9 is to 3. Okay. So, this is for what it is trihybrid cross and this is for monohybrid cross. Monohybrid and here you are talking about trihybrid. 
and here we are talking about dihybrid so this is totally about phenotypic ratio okay and this is number 2 yes and number 3 genotype we will see in next page this genotype genotype i denote as number 3 so one about the gametes how to calculate two about the phenotypes how to calculate genotype we'll see now let me erase this so genotype if you take it one i will do for dihybrid trihybrid you will do it so dihybrid ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 the whole power 2 because it is dihybrid 2 So here we will write it twice. We will write it. One is two. Two is two. One into one is two. Two is two. One. So twice. First this one we will multiply. One is two. Two is two. One. And then next second one we'll observe with this and we'll multiply with this. So two times. Into one two, two into two four, two into one two. Then here, same one, one time, one is two, two is two one. Okay, so here how many you got one two three? Check whether you got the three sets. So this is the ratio for dihybrid genotypic ratio. The same thing when you do for three twice, you will get the answer. that you will carry it as a homework do the same thing for trihybrid and check it out so we'll move when we take the cross okay when we take the cross in a checkerboard you will get these many number okay so it is not necessary to all these to do all these things because it will take around 20 minutes to complete this table instead you can calculate by this method and you can bring out the ratio both phenotypic and genotypic okay so we'll move to the next one a reciprocal cross a reciprocal cross the name itself says vice versa either this way or the other way okay that is reciprocal so let us see the example here for reciprocal cross same pisum sativum any character you can take it observe this area yeah let me change the color this area it is nothing but the gender indicating okay male and the female so here male and uh, here if you take it it is female wrinkles they have taken as female round they have taken as male so what will be the progeny progeny always in f1 the dominant character only you will get it so the round only you will get the same i'm going to change the gender this time i'm going to take the female as round dominant character and male as recessive character wrinkle let me write the genotype here capital r capital r small r small r wrinkled capital r capital r same small r small r the genotype i'm writing here so even though if i change the gender okay the maleness and the female femaleness for the dominant and recessive i'm not getting a different result i'm getting the same result f1 progenies are all dominant irrespective of their gender okay to prove that mendel took this as a reciprocal cross okay now the next topic so far we saw about the cross monohybrid dihybrid trihybrid reciprocal back cross and test cross and now we are going to see about gene interaction how the gene is going to interact if the interaction is going to happen in the same homologous chromosome what name you call it as if the interaction is going to take place in a different chromosome i mean non homologous chromosome what you call it as so we'll see intra allelic inter allelic or allelic non allelic okay so what is the name what is the why the name is given like this what is the meaning behind that we'll see that so here if the chromosome okay the chromosome is here okay we'll write always we'll write in a pair because it's a homologous chromosome and here also we'll write it we'll draw the chromosome al i'll use a dot to indicate the gene okay i 
when the interaction is happening okay when the gene interaction interaction between two different gene of the same homologous chromosome it is intra allelic intra okay in the same homologous the same thing in non homologous for example here okay the interaction the gene interaction from here to another it's going to interact like this it is intra inter allelic okay non allelic chromosome in a simple way we can say capital t capital t okay one character okay within the same allele if the interaction takes place that is intra allelic between different allele if it is taking place intra allelic okay so we'll see an example actually four examples we are going to see for intra allelic incomplete dominance and co dominance incomplete dominance the name itself says what it is not complete the dominant character is not complete for tallness dwarfness if you take only tallness seen in the first generation as per mendel's view but here in incomplete dominance according to carl currens he said there is no dominant there is something blending if you take two different color like white color flower and then red color flower you are getting a intermediate color like pink color flower you are getting like blending inheritance that is incomplete dominance and then co dominance you are saying one should be dominant another one should be recessive okay but here in co dominance both of the them both of them are dominant i showed you in the beginning the coat color okay one is brown color another one color cow color will be two different colors some variation i showed i think you can remember the same way some of the jersey cow if you see two colors will be there black color and white color in a patched fashion okay that is because of co dominance both the color will be dominant and both the trait will be seen they express both the trait okay that is co dominance polygenic inheritance poly means many genes means many genes many genes will interact okay and then they show their presence that is polygenic inheritance epistasis is nothing but standing over what is standing over they make themselves dominant and will not allow the other character to express here there is some difference between the dominance and epistasis in dominance okay only that character they will show whereas in epistasis even a recessive gene has the capacity to show themselves to express themselves and mask the other character okay that is epistasis let us see one after the other in next class so i'll recap in this class we saw about trihybrid cross and then in trihybrid cross uh, some some simple tricks i taught you and then about reciprocal cross here i have introduced about gene interaction okay thank you